Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and this is the Ashy Slashy, the Hound of the King of Evil Dead. Today, I'm here going to a reviewing of Leatherface vs. Ash Williams, but it's coming soon to the remaking of Michael Myers vs. Ash Williams and Ash Williams vs. Jason Voorhees in stop motion video. So, let's begin. Before I make it with the stop motion before, so I, I decided you need to make it with my own figures to make it with the uh, stop motion of Michael Myers versus Ash Williams, which is I using with the the original movies from figures and mega toys. The ultimate the uh, <clears throat> Halloween 2 and Evil Dead 2 Dead by Dawn. Which is from the 1981 and 1987 that I can actually use for the the stop motion as the the younger of the, the slasher killer and survivor. So actually, I was just still like all the figures, and I like the the boys with the NECA for NECA figures from the horror movies. Even though I actually watched the uh, Halloween. Two and Evil Dead 2 Dead by Dawn because those are the movies are my favorite because well actually maybe though but even though I'm not scared of those stuff horror movies but I still like the Michael Myers but he is my number two favorite after all and Ashrellis is my number one favorite from the main protagonist from Evil Dead and this was my actually the first time I see Ash Williams but somehow though uh, even though I finished with uh, Michael Myers versus Ash Williams, the the shape, which is the, the classic one I use, not such as from the remake, of course, because I still like uh, the figure when I made it with the Ash Williams wins. So I decided to make it with uh, a full video of Ash Williams, the, the story of uh, Evil Dead because I don't have to bring with the, all the Evil Dead figures from the trilogy from the, the Dead Eye Ed Gantley from Evil Dead 2 Dead by Dawn and Ash vs Evil Dead, Dead Eye Spawn, Elagos and Dead Eye Henrietta Unfortunately, I do have with that a lot of figures when I I have it with the Ash Williams that you can use with the Evil Dead 2 Dead by Dawn, and I could use it with the, the first film, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 1974 Leatherface. After Gunnar Hansen has passed away because he died in 2014. That was his, his last role, of course, but that was his uh, the last role of the, the Texas Chainsaw 3D. Because he played as the, the boss Sawyer in the, the Texas Chainsaw in Albion C. So, uh, actually, I'm a fan of the, the horror movies, which is the Chainsaw. Even though Chainsaw is using for the killing all the innocent people, killing all the zombies, killing all the deadites, whatever you want to call it once, but actually it's from the, the horror movies, from the the same the horror movies that I, I watch it with uh, like the, the phone movies, view games, which is such as Resident Evil series and Dead Rising series that I actually watching with the, the chainsaws. So I see that when you something using to cut all the parts and killing and chopping off and slice and dices. Somehow though, I just don't like Ash Williams and use it with a chainsaw hand, but he was actually so badass because I just tried to know and what's been thinking about that could be the reference as to the Ash was been cutting off the hand. When his hand was bitten by the, the decapitated dead Linda, when she was possessed by the Kandari demon, he decided to cut off the hand with the wrist. But uh, even though he actually tried to kill his possessed hand from the Evil Dead 2, and uh, the possessed hand from Ash. It's from 
and uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 1 and Season 2. When Bob was disguised as his old friend Chen after he died from the episode, and, uh, the and you see disguised as uh, Shem when he was wanting to scare on Ash, but he defeated him, but Ash defeats Bob, so he won't let the evil win. And for the leather face, because he likes actually though, but he wants to use the chainsaw when someone who brings him into the house. But for no reason at all, but he wants to take all the one of all the sound's friends in the in a slaughterhouse. When the, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the game, was released on the next year. Well, uh, however, Letterface does have it with the chainsaw for the first time. Somehow, they, the, the creators of Tom Hopper died in 2017 for his death to make it with the, the prequel of the Letterface. And so it's from the, the first film. And there's another one of the, the sequel of the first film was rebooted from the 2013 and 2017. That's the 2017 the prequel from the original story of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And the Texas Chainsaw 3D was using with a chainsaw that uh, the, actually the chainsaw could usually for the saw on the from the first saw of the one that could kill the, her brother named Franklin. The, the wheelchair when uh, they cut the, their guts off. was being fastest and quickly back upon the 1974 in from the first film. And for the legacies to Texas Chainsaw Massacre, except with the D, but the D is from the 1974's Tommy Hopper's Texas Chainsaw Massacre was the most uh, scariest, horrified, and disgusting of the gruesome, bloody massacre that I was actually when I was young. But I know this is really scary, but I'm not scared at all because I still like the letter phase because he was my number three favorite. He was just just uh, look like uh, creepy teeth. His teeth just looks like yellow. And he's wearing with a, a skin mask, and he was just uh, using with a chainsaw to, to cut the people's parts off. And actually, I just been watch all the movies of the Letterface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Even though I like from the, the part one, I don't like from the part two. I like from the the, the Legacy to 2022 from the Netflix. I actually I watched with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but one of the people that they don't like it or they like it, hate it, whatever they do. And uh, even though I actually uh, use it with the, the first the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, what I was saying about that, I used it with the figure from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Leatherface from the first film, and I actually used it for the stop motion to make it with the uh, Leatherface vs. Chucky and Michael Myers vs. Leatherface from the stop motion before I was actually created with uh, my own when I did it before, and I did it for after, and I made it on my own, and I just created it, but I did not make it because I didn't make it with the stop motion because I was still making with the, the other of the, the main sequels of the stop motion figures but I am actually I'm not from the filming in from the Hollywood or the, from the any of this theater when I made because I'm actually I was in my house I do the creative on my home I make it a homemade about that video so I can gain some more subscribers because I do it for making with the stop motion because I just wanted you to see that the chainsaw is actually meant to be to the the first film of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and to Evil Dead 2 Dead by Dawn. I watch it with the the fan the fan video of the horror movie crossovers 
from Leatherface versus Ash Williams. Sometimes I'm going to have to do it myself so I can make it with my own, so I can make it with the chainsaw battle with Ash Williams with no chainsaw. So I decided how to do it and today I'm going to make it on my own because today is November. This month is it's November. Well, uh, even though I'm going in the making with uh, the <clears throat> anything in film, so I don't going to need to do it again to make it with a stop motion video. But like I said, I do it for the filming of the stop motion, but it's just not actually a film, it's just a creating a video of the stop motion. So I decided to make it with the, the ending scene of Michael Myers versus Ash Williams. But not only that, but I'm going to do it as myself to make it with the uh, Leatherface versus Ash Williams, or you want to call it Ash Williams versus Leatherface. But uh, I'm going to make it with uh, the introduction when Ash walks away from Michael Myers when he was still dead. But uh, he went back to the, the graveyard. The Leatherface will be walking and sees the person, or which is to call this man who survived from the cabin, name is Ash Williams. But he fight back on Jason and Michael when they are dead. But Ash was been uh, burned him in the on the ground, so he will never come back to get tempted to attack him ever again and Michael he needed Michael get shot and he stays dead but he defeated him so he will never gonna get up but waiting until he wakes up gonna get his own en evil energy to wake him himself up so he would tell me to find him again but uh, Leatherface of course but Leatherface just actually saw Ash once was walking walking away and he attempt to knock him out with uh, a meat hammer and then he get them here to bring him inside on the a slaughterhouse so he decided to keep him on the body in the, his uh, kitchen slaughter room so he'll never be escaped so he locked all the doors, he locked all the windows, so he never would be escaped. And he wants to try to kill him with his chainsaw. However, I did for the references to the Resident Evil, Dead Rising, or the House of Dead, but not actually the House of Dead. And Dead Rising, but I do it for the references to the Resident Evil. But the, it's from the inspiration of Evil Dead and Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Somehow, though, I still like upon the Resident Evil when I see the Chris Redfield put in a cameo. It appears about that from the Resident Evil 7, but this look like could be a young Chris Redfield from the, the seven appearances from the Resident Evil franchises. Uh, although I actually make it with my own, so I had to need to decide to not to make it a cameo of the Terminator because it, I actually am making it with my own to not to make it a cameo, not going to choosing the endings. So I'm decided to making of I make it with the. The one ending only. Actually, I choose to be the Ash Williams will be the win. It's because that could be a lot of spoiler to do. Actually, I have a spoiler in this video, so don't make it mean anything to do for the spoilers in that video because it could be alternative that I actually created this. So I actually make it with the Leatherface caught Ash Williams' hand when he tries to escape from Leatherface, but Leatherface tries to kill him, but Ash wanted him to fight him back, but he can face his fear, he can face his consequences. Well, 
get out for the reviewing but this is my done for my reviewing of the stop motion video from now on I'll be uploading soon as possible so I'm going to upload it on November 30 or November 29 whatever it is so thank you for watching and thank you for listening if you like this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notifications and ring the bell to notify about the latest videos like what i said stay groovy and peace